Welcome back. Well, the locals here at the Aston Villa Leisure Centre were predicting a war between the two Birmingham welterweights, the former British champion Costas Petru, known as the Greek Tank, and Gary Somerville. They were absolutely right. Here it is. For the first round. Costas Petru then can't resist the urge to come back again, as the famous saying, they never come back in the fight game, but in fact they do, and have won the world championship again. Gary Somerville has only lost one decision in his career. And he has two wins over Del Bryan, the man who defeated him from Nottingham. So certainly on paper then it has the makings of a, a really tight world weight fight. Both came in at 10 stone 9. And uh, Somerville in the deep red trunks. And uh, well, the true probably, and it looks a bit like the, the faded gold shorts. Typical Greek tank, isn't it? With Petru, he comes in steaming in right away, likes to get on with it. Very colourful fighter, has always been a what's known as a promoter's man in the game, really. Never had a dull fight. The same goes for Somerville here. It was a really hard and quite a thrilling fight against Dill Brown in this ring at uh, Aston Villa Leisure Centre. And they both come from Birmingham, so they brought in a bit of a fan club apiece. The crew from the Kings Heath area and uh, Somerville from Erdington. Although, in fact, Petru was born in Birkenhead. So, on with the boxing with a minute to go in the opening round. Well, for a fellow who's had a few tough fights in his time, Jimmy, he looks quite fresh, Petru, really, doesn't he? Well, I'm delighted to see Petru back again because uh, I felt his, uh, his career was over in a flash before it had hardly begun and a lot more to offer. And, and as I say, I'm delighted to see him back. But uh, sometimes Petru has trouble against fighters uh, who have a good jab because he tends to come in a little bit straight. And uh, Somerville has a good jab and already we've seen it flashing out nice and sharply. So on paper and uh, after witnessing the first round, I think we can we could be in for a cracker here. crowd signaled that they like that punch but uh, certainly Somerville didn't his nose is bloody too at the end of the round so there's the fight record then uh, of Costas Petru as I say originally born in Birkenhead then and then came down and became a biz business lad and that's one of the reasons that he gave up boxing he wanted to concentrate on his business There's Gary Somerville's details, and uh, at only 21, he's, he's a real colourful character. He's a pro at 18, and he boxed for the Castle Vale Club. But... <laughs> Into the second. And if Somerville's scraps with Del Bryan the crackers, this one looks like being... Who knows, he might finish up with Bill Bryan for the fifth time. He's lost twice to him and has two wins over him. But not if Petru can help it. He, he really wants to get back into the world awake picture, as they say. They were matched, these two, last October when Petru held the Midland title. But Petru then decided to retire. But uh, he's, uh, he's been back now and got himself back into shape all right. Defeated Dave McCabe in Scotland. Uh, recently at Solihull.
remember when we saw Samuel the Forger, and he's, he's a spirited lad, isn't he? Yeah, well, he, towards the end of the first round and the beginning of the second round here, he's taken a couple of good shots from Petru without flinching. He just fires back again. He's a, a very brave young fellow. He's just overreaching himself at times. He's, he's got to watch that. He falls into a punch doing that. Petru has the, the more compact style of the two and in this type of fight as the rounds go by sometimes that's what counts uh, the more punches you can catch on your arms and shoulders and then uh, you're a little bit stronger in the later rounds if it goes that long Well I tell you what, they are getting stuck in here well, We said at the off, you need to be a fight expert to know that Petru's always in the thrilling fights even when he's been on the receiving end. Beat Rocky Kelly for the championship in Darlington, lost it to Sylvester Mitty in London. Him that uh, Petru looked a lot fresher. Uh, he, he faded a bit uh, at Alfredton, I thought. He looked a bit weary at that fight with Tony Brown, but he's, he's come back all right now. <laughs> now they've got the garden spray there, Pat Lynch in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Round three. And uh, schedule for eight then at World Awake, just to remind you, ten stone nine, they both weigh. Ten seven is the World Awake division. And he's coming up twenty-nine this month now, plus the two, matter of fact, on the April 17th. He's still got plenty of fire in him, yep, I tell you. The old Greek tank keeps rolling on, all right. be impressed by Petru's boxing tonight, Jim. He's never been a one-punch uh, knockout specialist, but he's always been a good pressure fighter, and that's what's going to be needed tonight. He's going to have to keep Somerville under pressure because uh, young Somerville's full of fire and full of ambition. But uh, whenever Petru gets close, he's making his punches count. of his 27 wins for true he's only actually stopped nine but uh, as you say jim he, he normally does pressure fight as he wins the wars of attrition <laughs> some of those have blooded around those all uh, around the nose almost from the first minute comes forward, I tell you, he's a gutsy fellow. It's, it's going to take some stopping, some of he's yet to hit the deck at all. a bit of a revenge there some of it was quite stinging punches too <laughs> I 
Well, what a good battle this turn now. We, we talked about Padru being the, the great crowd pleaser, but in fairness, certainly Somerville is as well. to the fourth round of this very hard world away scrap now to re-identify Petru in the gold colour trucks and maroon Somerville as you say Jim Petru tries his wearing down tactic, it doesn't really impress some of it, he just comes straight back at you as he is here. I had the feeling in the previous round that Petru was trying to use his experience to, to pull the pace down a little bit and uh, not take quite so many punches. But uh, some of them would have none of it, he just kept firing forward, really is uh, full of fight, full of grit. So Petru is going to have to go back to his old tactics and just start driving forward and uh, use it, the, the strength we know he has. mixing it up with straight punches then they're moving in and hooking they're, they're really giving it all these two <laughs> oh, good little burst there by uh, the crew but coming up, tucking up the elbows close to the body there trying to block the punches Typical Petru war and a typical Somerville war. They couldn't have been better match, really. Yeah, this is a cracker. Just we, we, we saw a few signs in the early part of the round that Petru was maybe going to take over a little bit, and then just as we felt that was happening, Somerville comes blazing back again. This really is a cracker. you don't need any extra words to describe this or tell you what's happening it's it's a bit obvious isn't it First round then of the scheduled eight. And it's it might be taking a bit of sorting out. I thought I thought Petru was definitely on top of the start though, Jim. What do you think? Yeah, well I have Petru in front because I think he, his punches have been better, his variety has been a bit wider than some of those and uh, for me he's in front. But uh, just when we feel he's maybe ready to take control of the action, some of all comes right back and knocks him out of it again. Two in this round for true. In the corners, manager's saying you're making a harder fight than you need to out of this, but I think that's the way he fights and that's the way the crowd like it, and certainly promoters do. It's a 
surprised he's staying in there as long as that now, but you're right above Hunts here at the commentary position. See a couple of punches there landed right on Petru's elbow, Jim. That uh, fighters must feel that, mustn't they? It's a bit painful, I would think. Well, if they have to land, I think that's one of the better places they can land, Reg. But uh, Petru, nice compact fighter. He has a good defence. He can smother punches. He can block them. But he, he did spend a little bit too long in that corner. He really contests every punch there, Somerville. And Petru coming back. You can understand really how Somerville's had a couple of draws on his record. He's always trying to match the, the other fellow punch for punch. I think it's a mistake, Jim, if Petru's hoping that he's, uh, Somerville's going to punch himself out. He's thrown his gum shield out there. It was half knocked out, but he also threw it out. In certain parts of America now, they stopped the contest and picked them up when that happens. What a battle! As they come up to the end of the fifth. Into round six. The two landed some really telling punches in the fifth round. I think he wants to keep the pressure where it is because there were a few things you could maybe at a long last break some of them down in the fifth round. I said that uh, he's pro career yet he's, he's yet to be put down for any sort of count Somerville and quite honestly with a big heart like that he, he doesn't actually deserve to go down Jim he's fighting so hard isn't he I don't think I've ever seen anyone with uh, more of a will to win than Somerville has no matter what comes his way he just charges right back into action again but uh, there were one or two things I don't know if the true has the old desire or has the stamina he once had to hold the pace where it was but that's what's required here he mustn't drop the pace he must keep it where it is well he's still bloodied around the nose and not you know, able to sponsor that at all but it's not really giving Somerville any trouble uh, knowing him, he doesn't even notice it, I shouldn't think. He's got other things on his mind. What a, what a really gutsy guy he is. And originally, this should have been for the, the Midland Championship, as I said earlier, but uh, Petru took a rest or retired at the time. But he stopped it now. He's, he was just not firing back at that point, Somerville. Following that good work in the fifth round, Petru stepped it up in the sixth and Somerville simply ran out of gas but at no time did he run out of heart Jim this is towards the finish now well all the way through Petru was just a little bit more of a professional than Somerville a little bit more experienced and that's what told in the end he was catching the punches in his arms that uh, Somerville was taking on target and uh, the longer the fight went the more effect it had on Somerville but uh, Really a tremendous performance from Petru, but uh, no shame to Somerville, he gave it all he had, and all the way through the action was as we see now. Well our commentary team, as usual, reading it absolutely right, and Petru winning, and now he's looking for a challenge for the British title against Kirkland Lang. Well he has a promising stablemate at Super Featherweight in the Birmingham boxer Huey Ford.